We're here at Hancock Shaker Village taping our series on Berkshire County and today we're going to be talking about two different phrases, BYOB and Mass Solar, both of which mean something completely different here in Great Barrington in Berkshire County. And joining me to talk about that, I have Mark Pruhensky, who is on Great Barrington's Board of Health and Chris Redbolt, who is a town planner for Great Barrington. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. So we'll start with you, Mark. So talk to me, BYOB means bring your own bag. In Great Barrington, it means bring your own bag. Uh, our plastic bag ban went into full effect this past Saturday and uh, so far has been a great success. So, All right, so the ban started March 1st. So this is pretty innovative for Great Barrington because you're the first one in Berkshire County and really the other towns that have implemented this have kind of been further east. But you guys are here kind of at the forefront of this. Yeah, first town in, in Berkshire County and fourth in the state. And um, we're hoping that, you know, we'll, we'll be a, a success story and hopefully a model to some other communities. So. All right, we're going to come back to you and get into a little more details about how stores are adapting to this change. But Chris, let's talk to you about Solarize Mass. What exactly is the project if people aren't familiar with it? Solarize Mass is a great program that's uh, made possible through the state's Department of Energy Resources and the Clean Energy Center. And what they do is provide some funds to local towns like Great Barrington uh, so that residents and business owners in those towns can, can benefit from uh, bulk purchasing of solar power for themselves. They can save money on their electric bills by going solar. So it seems like you both, both initiatives are very on that cutting edge. Have you gotten resistance or negative feedback from people who didn't want to switch over? Uh, we've had a little bit of pushback from a few residents. And, and when I say a few, I mean literally like two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the business community really embraced it. It was a great collaborative uh, effort from you know, the, the community, the, uh, the business owners, the school, the Chamber of Commerce. Everyone kind of came together and, and really pushed this forward. So. And this isn't the first time that you guys have implemented something that maybe even other surrounding communities haven't. Back in the 90s, you guys implemented a ban on styrofoam. Right. We have a little experience with this. So uh, 1990, very, very early on, we, we banned styrofoam. And um, it, it's been extremely successful. So this is, um, I guess, our, our next hopefully successful effort. And we're, or you guys are trying to get that same type of enthusiasm when it comes to solar energy for local residents. Is it difficult though for people, I mean, change is always difficult and you've probably seen that with the plastic bag ban, but is it difficult for consumers to really embrace that change and like just go with it? You know, this, this is an easy program for people to get behind. It's really whether it makes economic sense for them. A company comes out and assesses their roof. Do they get enough sun? Do they use enough energy? Is it going to save them money? And if it makes economic sense for them, they can sign up. There's no obligation. So really, this is a, this is a dollars and cents choice for them. And uh, we're hoping for, uh, for great success. It's been wonderful in other towns uh, in the Berkshires. So we just hope that we can save our residents money too. What's been the most difficult part of the process? Um, I think uh, you know, the most difficult part is probably just getting people over the initial uh, outlay of, of money to purchase a solar system for the roof. But the wonderful thing about the solar installer for Great Barrington is they also offer uh, a no money down lease option. So you don't have to put any money up front. You can just sign up and somebody will actually rent your roof. And you agree to buy cheap electricity and there you go, you're off and running. So there, there's a great way to overcome that. For some it seems like it may even be a win-win situation. It, it really can be. I mean, people can start saving money as whenever the sun's shining. Okay. Now, what about businesses? Is this the same win-win situation? I know a lot of times if somebody might complain, well, if you put regulations on me, it's going to cost me money, and it's, you know that's not good for a business. Has that been? Uh, there was some concern about that early on. You know, uh, we really, our approach to this was to really encourage businesses and residents Shop, any shoppers for that matter in Great Barrington to not just simply replace paper or sorry plastic with paper but to um, really bring their reusable cloth canvas bag long life bags with them. 
So the, do you feel like the, because the residents seem like they'd, well, it's much easier for residents to get on board because obviously there's no, there's not as much of an output from them. The stores are the ones that have to do all the changing over, but the businesses you feel are just as on board as the residents? I think they've been extremely um, cooperative. You know, they're, they're offsetting their expense somewhat by the 10 cent bag fee. Um, it was a voluntary effort, but um, you know that is one additional step that will encourage people to bring canvas reusable bags with them. So, okay. so you guys banned styrofoam, now plastic bags. Is, are you guys ready to kind of implement something else on the cutting edge of caring for the environment? <laughs> Not that I'm aware of at this point. <laughs> You're aware of? All right, I'll well, let you know. Yeah, all right. Well, it's still a great initiative that people are actually concerned about the environment and the world they're living in, and it seems like Berkshire County, somebody, you know, a little town in Berkshire County is really making steps that really even other towns aren't. Well, we're definitely trying. That's all you can do. Well, thank you so much, Chris and Mark from Great Barrington. Thank you so much.